this will get the idea across. Yeah, power. That is awesome. Hey everybody, Rebecca here. Hey, it's been so long since I've had a chance to make anything, so we're just coming at you real quick today. I love it when my kids get excited and want to try something on the laser. So here we are, we're just playing around on uh, the other day with some keys yeah. from a keyboard. My son's gotten some that were a pretty aqua color, yeah, but then he's also taken some other keys and painted them with some aqua acrylic paint. And then he wanted to see if he could redo the, uh, you know, the, the imprint on them. And then we had some fun and just tested it with some other designs. So um, we, we just did just the regular page up key and that worked out pretty good. And then he decided to try some patterns and the key was a little bit too tall. Our um, CO2 laser was moving the key around so we took out the tray and tried it again so we got some pretty good results with two different patterns that we tested on an extra key and so anyway this got me inspired so I went ahead and popped off the space bar of my keyboard and just played around with some different designs that I wanted to try and tested it on cardboard first and then here I'm out of focus but all I'm doing is just trying to eyeball it to line it up uh, on top of the test print and then here we go we're testing it now actually using the laser uh, to engrave into that plastic so that was about 30 percent power on this particular laser and it uh, it worked pretty well it kind of like melts the plastic a little bit so the focus is not real sharp and of course you could play around with that to get it better but anyway I was pretty happy with it even though it wasn't perfectly centered um, and then just to mess around with it some more, I pulled out this old tube of rub and buff that I've had for quite a while. Uh, and I was hoping just to get the rub and buff into the grooves itself, but that didn't work because I rubbed it on and then was hoping to rub it all back off and, and leave just the grooves, but it didn't work so well. I was hoping fingernail polish would get all the uh, paint off of the top. But it turns out the fingernail polish did not do what I wanted. So just embraced it and went with it and painted the whole thing gold. And look at that in the in the shining there in the light. That that looks pretty good. So I'm happy with it. But we had a lot of fun and thanks for watching.